I'm good day good day I'm exposing the false prophets false the secret about false prophets is the fact is that they are fallen angels false false prophets are fallen angels they are the one third of what got swept out of heaven with Satan because they all turned on God okay and what they're doing is they're sitting in the temple of God and they are running amok in the kingdom by sweeping away God's very own elect. The Bible says that God's very own elect will be deceived and swept away. And what they're doing is being ordained to become a demon, to serve Satan's agenda. Okay, so I want to read the old prophet and the man of God, which is found in 1 Kings chapter 13, verses 11 through 34. And this actually illustrates um, what's taking place today in the church. Okay, and it also um, is prophetic in nature because God is getting ready to rain disaster on all of this. Okay, so it says here the old prophet and the man of God. The old prophet in this case will be the false prophet. Okay, and it's going to illustrate how um, the prophets try to deceive God's people. Okay, so it says here, now a certain old prophet was living in Bethel. His son came and told him all the deeds that the man of God had done that day in Bethel. His sons also told their father the words that he had spoken to the king. Then their father asked them, which way did he go? His sons had seen the way taken by the man of God who had come from Judah. Then he said to his sons, saddle the donkey for me. So they saddled the donkey for him and he got on it. He followed the man of God and found him sitting under an oak tree. He asked him, Are you the man of God who came from Judah? I am, he said. Then he said to him, Come with me and eat some food. But he answered, I cannot go back with you or accompany you. I will not eat food or drink water with you in this place. For a message came to me by the word of the Lord. You must not eat food or drink water there or go back by the way you came. He said to him, I am also a prophet like you. An angel spoke to me by the word of the Lord. Bring him back with you to your house so that he may eat food and drink water. The old prophet deceived him. So the man he lied. And the man of God went back with him and ate food in his house and drank water. So although God told the man of God, do not go there and drink no water, eat no food with this man. The man talking about, oh, I'm a prophet too. The old, the, the false prophet saying that, say, told the man, I'm a prophet too. Um, you know, you could, you could do it. The angel of the Lord said, it's okay for you to come back and eat. So he deceived him. Okay. Uh, verse 20. While they were sitting at the table, the word of the Lord came to the prophet who had brought him back. And the prophet cried out to the man of God who had came from Judah. This is what the Lord says. Because you rebelled against the Lord's command and did not keep the command that the Lord your God commanded you. But you went back and ate food and drank water in the place that he said to you. Do not eat food and do not drink water. Your corpse will never reach the grave of your ancestors. So after he had eaten food and after he had drunk, the old prophet saddled the donkey for the prophet he had brought back. When he left, a lion attacked him along the way and killed him. So see, he was killed for disobeying God. His corpse was thrown. And this is what happened. When you when you, you get killed, your soul get took into, into Satan's kingdom. Okay. His corpse was thrown on the road and the donkey was standing beside it. The lion was standing beside the corpse too. There were men passing by who saw the corpse thrown on the road and the lion standing beside it. And they went and spoke about it in the city where the old prophet lived. Verse 26, when the prophet who had brought him back from his way heard about it, he said, He is the man of God who disobeyed the Lord's command. The Lord has given him to the lion and it has mauled and killed him according to the word of the Lord that he has spoke to him. Then the old prophet instructed his sons, saddle the donkey for me. They saddled it and he went and found the corpse thrown on the road with the donkey and the lion standing beside the corpse. The lion had not eaten the corpse. Okay, so the lion had not eaten the corpse or mauled the donkey. So the prophet lifted the corpse of the man of God and laid it on the donkey and brought it back. The old prophet came into the city to mourn and to bury him. Then he, he laid the corpse in his own grave and they mourned over him. Oh, my brother. After he had buried him, he said to his sons, When I die, bury me in the grave where the man of God is buried. Lay my bones besides his bones. For the message that he cried out by the word of the Lord against the altar in Bethel and against all the shrines of the high places in the cities of Samaria is certain to happen. And that's what's about to happen. Because they're going to certainly die for what they're doing. All these false prophets going to die and burn in hell for what they're doing. Verse 33. 
Even after this, Jeroboam did not repent of his evil way, but again made priests for high places from the ranks of the people. That's what they're doing. They're taking the ranks of, of God's elect and they're ordaining these people because they're being wowed or wooed by the fake miracle signs and wonders and they believe that they're following God so they go down there and they get ordained to become a demon and serve Satan's agenda and become one of them okay so it says here even after this Jeroboam did not repent of his evil way but again made priests for the high places from the ranks of the people he ordained whoever so desired it and they became priests of the high places this was the sin that caused the house of Jeroboam to be cut off and obliterated from the face of the earth. This was this is what God about to do. Wipe them from the face of the earth. Cause disaster. The young uh, kids will die by sword and famine. Okay, this is a real thing. And this is what's going on. And this is what the false prophets are doing to God's very own elect. To God's people. And this is why we must stand for truth. But this is how, this is why we need to know the truth. So that we're not deceived by these false prophets, y'all. Okay? So this is the shocking truth about the false prophets. One third that was swept away. They're serving Satan's agenda. They are fallen angels. They never wanted God. Alright? Be blessed.